This is your main event of the evening. Best two falls out of three with a one hour time limit. Weighing 238 pounds in the black corner. From St. Louis, Missouri, Warren Bockwinkle. His opponent, weighing 236 pounds in the white corner, from Van Nuys, California, Wilbur Snyder. Your referee, Hank Matheny. Hank Matheny now with a checkup here. And then uh, away we go with a great main event. We are not wrestling uh, by Australian rounds tonight. It'll be straight two out of three falls to a one hour time limit. You know, some of our main events here at the Hollywood Legion Stadium are presented by the Australian method with uh, 15 minute rounds. Handshake and a friendly one and uh, our boys are ready to go. This is Wilbur Snyder. One of the most promising newcomers to wrestling that has appeared here in Southern California in many a year. And each boy trying for a wrist lock. Snyder comes up with a nice one. Key lock, top wrist lock. First takedown of the match goes to Wilbur Snyder. Into a head scissors and out of the hole is Snyder and look at these boys move like a couple of tigers in the ring. In the referee's hold and off balance on the ropes. So, so they break. Snyder looked a little bit worried, but I don't think he needs to. Nice leg snatch by Snyder. Step over toe hold and he goes to work on it. Bears down with this one. Snyder still with a nice step over toe hold here. Bachwinkle can keep uh, one shoulder or the other off the canvas here, so he's not in any particular danger of being pinned, but of course he is in a little trouble with that left leg. Snyder doesn't want him going to the ropes, that's why he drags him back into the center of the ring. Look out. Snyder's getting a little off balance. Bachwinkle with uh, several more years experience in wrestling. Possibly knows a few tricks that Snyder doesn't and this might be one of them right now to get himself out of a punishing hold. Here goes Snyder. Man overboard. Right back and again. Look at Snyder work just like a cat here. Moving fast taking that left leg. Very down with a lock that's a punisher. Now into his step over to hold that he had before. Bachwinkle is saying no, 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 no. Bachwinkle fairly close to the ropes. I doubt that he'll use him though for a way out. And he says no, no real loud now. There's a little kick and uh, Snyder is back again. 
and the rope, so they will have to break. Go behind by Bockwinkle now for a body lock, and the Snyder Striver go behind. Can't work it too well as they both fall into the ropes. Once again, they'll be up. Bachwinkle with a body lock from behind now. Over Snyder trying to go behind himself, and uh, he can't make it work. Bachwinkle with the hole, and Snyder in a little bit of trouble. Nothing serious. But he wants out of it. Into the ropes. Wrist lock, key locked, and Bachwinkle has the hold on Snyder. Off balance here in the ropes. And there's the break. I don't think either of the wrestlers is worrying particularly about a punch from the other. They're just uh, afraid the other might move a little too fast for them. They don't want anything like that to happen. That's why they're a little cautious on these breaks. In the cradle hold, Snyder puts it on beautifully. Bachwinkle still in the cradle hold, Snyder has it. And Bachwinkle takes a look at these ropes and thinks maybe that might be the way to get out of the cradle hold. He's moving toward them. Sometimes, you know, discretion is the better part of valor, but I don't think that uh, Snyder's going to give him a chance. He's, a matter of fact, rolled him back, but uh, Bachwinkle is keeping a shoulder off the canvas, so referee Hank Matheny makes no move to count here. Back comes Bachwinkle again. Here comes a possible move for a break as Bachwinkle's wrist lock does break. And he is reversing. Takes the Indian death lock on Wilbur Snyder and he hurts him with it. Bachwinkle hasn't really moved into the regular position for the Indian death log. He has the hole. He also has a toe hold. In the ropes they roll again. Snyder's reversal enough to get him out of trouble here. Well, it's actually reversal. He just came topside. Rest up after that deal. Uh, I don't know just what Bachwinkle had in mind. I don't think he planned to use a fist there, but uh, Snyder backed off, waiting to see what was going to happen. Off balance here on the ropes again. A nice go behind by Bachwinkle, and he's got a body lock. Snyder's had a little trouble with these already here as they're working still for that first fall, but he comes up now with a wrist lock, somersaults Bachwinkle into the ropes, and they break. Ten minutes gone in our one-hour time limit. Two falls out of three. Tonight, we're not wrestling by rounds. Here's a real one. This hurts. Snyder's in trouble. Bachwinkle bearing down.
Snyder is letting it know, be known, I should say, that that toehold is hurting. Hurting quite a bit. Here he comes uh, trying for a counter move. Can't make it work. Bockwinkel very effective in there, staying in close to him. Snyder finally comes up with a chin lock. I don't think it's going to be enough to get him out of trouble, but let's find out. Snyder shouting, no, no, as the referee says, what do you say, Wilbur? Meaning, of course, he's not ready to give yet on this punishing hold. Bockwinkle stays right there with it. Now watch Snyder's move here. He's straightening out his leg, taking some 